So lock your brothers. I don't know what happened to the video, but let's go ahead and replay it again. Lord willing. Ah, oh, come on. See, Satan, man, he playing around. <laughs> come on, come on. It was just playing. Let's go to this one. Let's go. Bullshit, but it's the best of the bullshit. We're trying to. Hey, it's the insight. I took yeah. that shot in the hole. Yeah. Getting married, brothers having children. Real life. Right. Getting married, brothers having children. You know? Hey, we'll even, some abomination, man. Even, even uh, people of the world, like Christians, they being forced to go into their Bible right. because of the Israelites. Right. Everybody's being forced to, forced to question. What they believe in, right, right? You know, everybody's being forced to question. You had Dabu Seven, right, right? He was talking about the Nephilim. Man. Yeah. <laughs> he, it's, just, it's written, people. Yeah. You know, even though he didn't understand it, but it's forcing everybody. Everybody's gonna be forced. You gotta go to the Bible, and we are the only ones through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Beside that have the understanding of the Bible. So, in essence, they're gonna have to come to the prophet. Right. So let's go to three. They don't know yeah. what the hell happens to get the message of what's going on and what's going to happen sooner or later. You know, you can, people are putting it off now. Those guys are crazy. But when the Lord bring this shit to your front door, you gonna have to you gonna have to come before the men the most I set up. Right, right. You gonna have to yeah. like the chariot. Exactly. You are gonna have to. Gonna have to go before the men of the Lord. You're going to have to go and find them because that's where the true answers lies. The true answer is going to be right there, right before the prophets. I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. I, I just lost my thought. It escaped me. Let's go ahead and jump back into these scriptures. And the, the brother is right. Everyone's going to have to come and they're going to be forced to come to the Bible and understand the Christians and the churches and, and, and all the false prophets, all that's going to be hewed down because the, the now the light is going to shine on the prophets. And that's where that light is going to be shining. And we're going to be proclaiming with great boldness. With thus said the Lord Yahweh, 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 Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So let's go ahead and we jump into um, Jeremiah 23 and verse 11. Oh, no. Let's go down some more. I believe it's. Yeah, I believe that's it. So, this is containing the false prophets again. I'm trying to link up the false prophets with the two thirds as well. Uh, let's start at 11. So, this reads Jeremiah 23, verse 11. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house, which Salakia, yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord Yahweh. Wherefore, their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord Yahweh. Verse 13. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in, in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. And this is exactly what the false prophets are doing right now. They're making the people err from knowing the truth. So it reads on, I, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery. Isn't that what's going on in the church? They commit an adultery. The pastor sleeping with the members wives. Knowing they have a husband in the church. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evil doers that's what they do with their churches and their 
501 C3s. They they strengthened the they strengthened the, the hands for the evil doers to keep doing what they want to do. To keep deceiving. And it reads on that none doth return from his wickedness. As long as the churches are in power, no one is not going to look at their, uh, they're not going to look at themselves. They're not going to want to do the law. So as long as you got these false prophets and them not knowing the law, they're going to stay in wickedness. They're going to stay in sin. They're going to stay naked out there. And it reads on, they are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. He said, he looked, the most High said, he looking at them like, man, these two thirds, these false prophets, all these heathen out here, none of them following my law. They are unto me as Sodom and Gomorrah. This is what the most High is saying. He can't wait to burn this place up, but he needs the true people, the, the 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 elect, the people that really will that 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 really will return from their wickedness, and they have time to to uh to repent. He's given this. They he's having mercy on certain people, but most people he do not have cert. He do not have no mercy upon, and that and that's the elect of Israel that's gonna have that mercy. Lord willing, I'm one of those people. Because I don't feel like I need to die next to somebody named Baby and he's smoking weed, got dreads in his head, he's dirty. Just, I, don't, I, 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 I cannot die next to someone like that who's in wickedness. And I'm, I'm, I'm not even, that's not even in my spirit to even have some of the things that they do. This man, he probably sleeping with women. He probably sleeping with men as well. Breaking all type of mischief, all type of laws. Lord willing, I do not go down with none of these men, man. I don't want to go down with no two-third, man. Oh, Lord willing, I'm not one of those two-third. I pray and I have mercy. That's why I walk with fear. Because they already are already as Sodom and Gomorrah. Two-thirds in these false prophets. The heathen, they already got, they already set for their judgment. Verse 15, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts concerning the prophets. Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of God. And I believe that's that's a precept, I believe. I don't remember. That's a precept I got going on. But uh, it reads on, behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of God. Forward from the prophets of Jerusalem is profane is gone forth into all the land. Meaning the whole land of Israel is profane. It don't matter. It, every, each and every single one of them, their thoughts all the way down to their nakedness. They are done. They are finished. They are as Sodom and Gomorrah. And it's just a precept to that. I cannot remember it off, off the top of the hand, but it, it goes uh, roughly paraphrasing and saying, uh, if, 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 if the Lord did not save unto us a small remnant, we would be unto as, as, as Sodom and Gomorrah. We will be like the rest of the other people out there, the two thirds that cannot see the truth. So let's read on verse 16. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord Yahweh. They say, Salakia, they say still unto them that despise me. The Lord Yahweh have said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. This is a false prophet. He's telling you that, oh, ain't nothing bad going to happen. Oh, you're going to be okay. Don't believe that Bible. Don't believe the book. That's the other fault. You got, you got many antichrists. You got many 
uh false prophets out there. They rather just teach you the uh just teach you the laws and say, oh no, no. Like the old uh testament Israelites. Oh, Esau's the Arabs, all these different doctrines out here, all these false prophets. Oh, the mark of the beast is not the chip. Oh, this, this is this is this is what all these other uh groups out here, all these false prophets. Anyone that's not in the teachings of what uh, Great Millstone is teaching, uh, I believe it's Men of Valor. It's, it's, it's certain other um, Israelite groups out there. They're actually doing the work and they're teaching on the same accordance. Singing that lovely song. Whereas you got these false prophets and these two thirds, they don't want to hearken. They just want to, they want to, they want smooth things. They want to, they want you to say, it ain't going, no evil going to come upon you. Peace. We all going to be in prosperity. But they're not even looking at the economy. That the economy can crash at any moment. I post videos of an, uh, of an expert economist that goes on my page and he he goes into he he knew when the 2000 uh what 2007 2008 crash was going to happen before it happened and he's saying this this time is going to be even worse that is that the US will never come back uh from it this is this is letting you know that man the most high is putting his spirit out there on certain men that are out there that are heathens and they giving you this truth that's out so the truth is everywhere and our people still don't want to hear it. So let them believe the false prophets because that's really that's their lot. So let's jump into Jeremiah 20. No, Jeremiah 5. Verse 21. I wrote it down. Right here. And we're going to go down to all the way down to 31. Yeah. All right. And it reads on Jeremiah 5 and 21. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not. Right. Our people, they got eyes. They looking. They can go out to the car. They can go walk. They can get inside. They driving. They going to the store. They see it. They got the eyes. They see, they have eyes, but they see not. They can't see the truth because they're so blinded. That spirit of deep uh, sleep is upon them. And it reads on, which have ears and hear not. They don't want to hear this word. Verse 22, fear ye not me, saith the Lord Yahweh. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it and thou the ways thereof toss themselves yet can they not prevail though they roar yet can they not pass over it wow and the, the most high is saying the man that can I can I can control everything that is set and it's all bounded you not scared of me basically you don't fear me Verse 23, but this people hath a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord, Yahweh, our power that giveth rain, both the former and the latter in his season. And it reads, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as, de as, as he that sit as setteth snares. They set a trap, they catch men. And that's exactly what the children of Israel are doing right now. They... They lay in wait. They trying to they trying to see when you're gonna fall. They're looking for a weak spot. And when they catch you, they're gonna catch you off guard. That's what that scripture is saying. They so wicked. They they even go against their own people. This is how wicked it is. Hate this damn place. 
Verse 27, as the cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Meaning in their mind, they, 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 their houses, their inside of them, their inward parts is full of deceit. Uh, it reads on, therefore they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Wow. Our people, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Of the wicked. Why? Because the curses are upon us. And therefore, since the curses are upon us and our people are trying to get to that state of where they of where the rich are, the evildoers, they doing all type of abominations just to get to that point. They're selling their souls to Satan. They are in allegiance to Satan and all the other nations. Except they overpass them. Why? Because they have the curses upon them. So which makes them they have to do even more. Just to get to where the other rich uh, folks are. So everyone that's in the entertainment business right now. They're, they're, uh, they're doing blood sacrifices. They got to get. They got to sleep with. Uh, if they're a man. They got to sleep with other men. And if they got to have threesomes. And all, all type of abominations. They got to get pumped in the ass. They they do every they got to do everything just to get to that just to, just to get to that position that they are in power with the with the white man. They don't know that they sold themselves. Now I think some of them they're so sad. They want to kill themselves. They're, they're very depressed. They go on drugs because they can't look at themselves or at what they done to get to that position that they're in. They had to do a lot of abominable things just to make it. Ain't no white man going to give you that much money and that much power and you not going to be in allegiance to him. When they do that to you, they got your soul. You sold your soul to the devil. Let's read on. Verse 28. They are waxen fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. And this goes back into uh, the, the false prophets. Your Joel Osteen's, your, 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 uh, what's the Creflo Dollar, um... T.D. Jakes, all the, these men right here, they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. They prosper with all the money and the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things? This is the question the Most High is asking. Saith the Lord Yahweh. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Yes. He's going to come visit the nation because of what they're doing. Verse 30. A wonderful and a horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. This is what the Most High said. He's like, man, even though they they lying to him, they, they teaching them false doctrine, they doing all type of things. Our people still love it. They will fight to death. Because this is what they want to hear. They want to hear it's going to be prosperity. They don't want to hear that uh, destruction and fire and brimstone and everything is coming down on this earth. That every, And all the works that are, that are that, Salakia, Salakia, that all the works therein is going to be burned up and nothing is going to be the same anymore. They don't want to hear that. They love this world so much that they have to die with the world. Verse 31. Again, the prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? So the Most High is asking the question like, what are you going to do? 
what the what what like what you think you got <laughs> he's like wow my people are like foolish sawdish children like what are you gonna do in the end now so let's read some more let's get on these this two-thirds and these prophets man they just they tripping man make no damn sense man like shit is like a damn movie <laughs> So let's read. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 9. We're going to start at 1 and we're going to read the verse 15. Oh, that my head were waters and mine eyes of uh, and mine eyes a fountain of tears that I might weep day and night for the slaying of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men that I might leave my people and go from them, for they be all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men, and they bend their tongues like the bow for lies. Meaning they're so, it, it, you know how when you shoot an arrow, uh, you pull the stick back and you're getting ready to shoot, and how quickly you pull it back out? That's how quick the, our people are willing to tell lies. And it reads on, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. They search for these lies. They don't want the truth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, saith the Lord Yahweh. Take ye heed, <clears throat> Salakia, take ye heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplant. And every neighbor will walk with slanders. And that's exactly what you see what's going on today. Each and every single one. Somebody's talking about someone. They're slandering somebody's name. They're defaming their character just by these words. Which cut like two-edged swords. Verse 5. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor. And will not speak the truth. They have taught in their tongue. To speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. So they taught themselves to, to, to keep telling lies. To even, to even commit iniquity. Verse 6. Thine habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit they refuse to know me. Wow. Said the Lord Yahweh. Therefore. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, Behold, I will melt them and try them. For how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is an arrow shot out. Talakia. Their tongue is, is as an arrow shot out. It speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth. But in his but in heart he layeth his weight. And that's many of our people. They'll talk to you, they'll laugh and joke with you, but really just down in their heart in their inward parts, they hate you. They they do they want to get over you. They want to be you. They trying to covet you and your things. They waiting to they waiting to see your death, or they may be planning your death. This is how wicked our people has gotten. We have gotten to the point of bare. We have we are at bare. Beneath, um, almost to the point where we are we lost all of our glory. We're at the point that we are as Nebuchadnezzar in the in, in out there in the field as beasts. This white man is over you. This is how low we have come, a low level we have become. Wow. Verse 9. Shall I not visit them for these things? Saith the Lord. Yahweh. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? If you look at all the things that's going on in Israel right now. You really think that the Most High is not going to come? You're not, he's not going to send his son to come and burn this damn place up? Yes, he has to come back, man. He has, it, it just, for all you Old Testament Israelites, man, if I, man, I put, man, 
You got something coming to y'all too, man. The most I got something coming to y'all, man. Y'all, man, y'all just wait, man. I'm just, man, when this thing kick off, man, we're going to see, man. We're going to see the real men of the Lord in that day. We're going to see everything, man. Lord willing, man, I can see everything to the end. But if it's my lot for me to get my head beheaded, I'm, man, I'm going down for it too, man. Like the scripture says, they love not their lives into the death, man. I don't love my life, man. They can go ahead and chop my head off, man. If I know I'm going, I know I'm going to be with the Most High. I hope I'm in good gracious with Him. If I keep doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, He'll probably He'll protect me from it. But if that's my lot, I'm going to take it. It was already written from the beginning for me to take it. And it reads on, saith the Lord, Yahweh, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Verse 10, for the mountains will I take up a weeping and wailing, and for the habitations of the wilderness and a lamentation, because they are burnt up, so that none can pass through them. Neither can man hear the voice of the cattle. Both the fowl of the heavens and the beasts are fled. They are gone. And I will make Jerusalem heaps and a den of dragons. And I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Verse 12. Who is the wise man that may understand this? This is the most high speaking. Who going to understand this? And who is he whom the mouth of the Lord Yahweh have spoken? That he may declare it. For wet the land perisheth. And is burned up like a wilderness. That none passeth through. He's asking. And the Lord Yahweh saith. Because they have spoke. Because they have forsaken my law. Which I set before them. And have not obeyed my voice. Neither walked therein. But have walked after the imagination of their own heart. And after uh, Baalim, which their fathers taught them. And this is what you see the two thirds. Their fathers, their parents, their grandparents, they were taught to go through the Christian way. They were taught not to, to stay in sin, to eat the pork, to, to, to get tactic. They, they stayed in all that. That's the way that the fathers were going. At one point in time, but now it's time for you to understand the truth and for you to hear it so that you can turn away from the way of our fathers from from past. Verse 15, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, the, the, the power of Israel. Behold, I will feed them, even this people, with wormwood and give them water of God to drink. And that was the precept in Jeremiah. I believe it was, I believe it was 23. I can't remember. We just read it earlier. Let's go ahead and jump in uh, to Jeremiah 6 and 6. We getting ready to go ahead and wrap this up. I didn't want to make it too long. Uh, we can start at 16. Go down to like 30. And we're going to get into a future prophecy of of how uh, these two thirds are going to be like. And these false prophets that claim that there is no Messiah. They all going to get it. So verse 16 in Jeremiah 6 and 16. And it reads. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. And that's what the men of the Lord have done. We, we sought the Lord. We look, What is the good path, Father? Show us. We trying to get it. And then the elect, the, elect the, the people that have been called, which are of the hopeful elect. Yes, they, they're gonna, they, they, that's what they want. They want to walk in a good way. Walk therein. They want rest for our souls. We want rest for our souls. I want rest for my soul. But now we're going to get into what the uh, two-thirds 
This is them, everything that's coming up. And it reads, but they said, we will not walk therein. Mm. And that's what the two thirds said. As they walked by, scoffing, laughing. Verse 17. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. And what's that trumpet? That's the words, that's, that's that word, that's the words, that's that fire that's coming out of the prophet's mouth. You don't see it, we speaking it loudly and boldly. We singing the, the, the tune, the nice and lovely tune. We singing it loud and we blowing the trumpets and the drums and the tambourines and that, everything. But the people not hearing it. They don't like the music or the sound. And it reads on, but they said, we will not hearken. Therefore, hear ye nations and know, O congregation, what is among them. <clears throat> Verse 19, hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon these people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. As it said in Hosea 6 and We'll we'll get we'll get that we'll get back to that. To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba and the sweet came from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before the before this people. And the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. This is what happening to the two thirds right now. Most of them are perishing. And there's going to be a lot more coming into the future. Verse 22. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, a people cometh from the north country. And the great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. And that's what's happening right now. It's coming at any moment. They shall lay hold on bow and spear, meaning their, their, their weaponry. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, meaning they're going to come in loud and fast. And they ride upon horses, meaning they're going to have power. Set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. That's Esau. That's his troops. That's his, his modern day weaponry. They're going to be coming towards you. This is Jacob's trouble he's talking about. Verse 24. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Anguish have taken hold of us, and pain as of a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sore of the enemy and the fear is on every side. So it ain't gonna matter where you go. You can try to go high up in the mountains and the trees. You you're gonna have to constantly be as a pilgrim on this earth. You're gonna have to be moving to and fro. You're not gonna have to be in the same place. You stay in the same place, you are just as a dead man. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation, for the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. Meaning this white man going to come out any day, any moment when you sleeping. He can come out us when we on camp. It's not going to matter. Verse 27. It's going to come suddenly upon you. Coming like a thief in the night. Verse 27. I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people that thou mayest know and try their way. They are are all grievous, grievous revolters walking with slanders. This is reading to the two, uh, uh, into the two thirds and it reads on. They are brass and iron, meaning they are hard, hard to get through to. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned. The lead is consumed of the fire and the founder melteth in vain. 
for the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them because of the Lord have rejected them. So in that time, it ain't going to be nobody to save the, the two thirds. They're going to be rejected. The most high is not going to be hearing them. Let's go into that. Let's go into that. Jeremiah 6 and 30. Let's go into the to the blue Bible. Let's see what that means. Jer uh, Jeremiah... Six and thirty. Let's see what reprobate silver means. So we have Strong Street Mayak. All right. So so this is a uh, Strong's H thirty nine eighty eight Mayas Maya. Let's pronounce. Let's let's listen to it. Strong's H thirty nine eighty eight, my ass, my ass. <laughs> also, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, Israel. I'm sorry, but yeah, it, it reads my ass. Sounds like my ass, but it's my ass. Uh, <laughs> let's read. Let's see what it says. To spurn, to disappear, abhor. Cast away, off, contempt, despise, disdain, become loathsome, refused, reject, reprobate, vile person. So it's despise, refuse, abhor, reject. So this is, there, there are like rejected money. That's how worthless they are. They are worthless. So that they are rejected like worthless money into the street, basically. What that scripture is saying. Wow. So let's go ahead and jump into the... We're going to jump into Jeremiah 7. So yeah, being as reprobate, that's, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. So let's read right here, Jeremiah 7 and 23. Hopefully this will be a good closing scripture. Um, No, no, I got one more. I got one more after this. Jeremiah 7 and 23. Uh, and it reads, But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, your power, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. Right. That's what the Most High is saying. Keep my commandments. Believe. Treat. Love one another. Just do what I ask. Don't be evil against your brother. Don't want to kill him in your heart. Don't sleep with his wife. Don't. Come on. You're breaking my commandments. Come on. But guess what? They don't want to hear. The two-thirds do not want to hear. And they don't want to hear because these false prophets said that it's okay, basically. The law is done away with. <laughs> and it reads again. And ye shall be my people, and walk ye in the ways that I have commended you, that it may be well unto you. Verse 24. But they hearkened not nor inclined their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart and went backward and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. This is what this is what we've been doing. I was off from work today. I made two lessons. Made two lessons. I studied. I read. I've been trying to be diligent in the in the word, in the truth. Like he said, rising up early and sending them. We up early in the morning. We staying up late night. We working. 
we working and we doing the work. We trying to edify the church. That you see videos going on day and night, each hour, each each every five five to ten minutes, you see a video pop up on YouTube. We actually doing the work. We trying to get our people to see it, but they hearken not. He even sent us. I mean, he even sent them the prophets. He say, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. So everyone is out. So everyone is without excuse. Daily rising up and sending them. Verse 26. Yet they hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear, but hardened, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Verse 27. Therefore, thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken unto thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord Yahweh their power, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut from their mouth. Verse 29. That's what I was trying to read to. Cut off thine hair, O Jerusalem. Meaning the city. All of Israel. And cast it away. And take up a lamentation on high places. For the Lord Yahweh hath rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. And that's what the Most High is doing. And I got one more, and I, and I read it up earlier. Hosea 4 and 6. One of my, the key scripture to all of this. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject Thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Verse 7, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. And I'm going to end with that. The glory of what the Israelites used to have back in the ancient times to how we look at them as we are today to where we fighting over fucking Popeye's chicken. Come on, man. How low, how debased people have we become? They are like as Sodom and Gomorrah, as the scripture said earlier. They are done. And a lot of these false prophets, they have to pay for what they've done. And not only because the two thirds they got to pay because they didn't listen. The most I said, I've sent all my prophets out. They've been rising up early and I'm sending them out. The word is going out. It's on the computer. It's on the computer. That is the unicorn. I'm, I'm sending I'm sending everything out. So when it's time for my judgment to come, you are without excuse. So this is hopefully this lesson was a little edifying. Um, I was trying to link them up as good as I can. I was just rolling in the spirit, really. Um, I don't know the title of this, this video, but really what made me spark it was that the video that I showed earlier with the brother from the Ancient of Days, he said that everybody's going to be forced to come to the Israelites. And that is exactly what is happening because even though that they are not listening right now, when that time comes, because the brother was, he was prophesying right there when he was speaking in that video. He was prophesying, saying that everyone's going to have to come to the Israelites. You're going to have to come to the men of the Lord and the true men of the Lord. Not none of these false prophets that are out here who don't know because everyone is going to be confounded. Everyone's going to, everyone's going to see that the GMS and everyone that is speaking the truth of G, of, of the same doctrine. Everyone's going to see that those were the true uh, Salaki. Those were the true men of the Lord the whole time. 
They have the most edifying videos. It's on day and night. Everyone in each camp has a, a, a YouTube channel. They put videos out. Even if it's only one or two people look at it, it still went out. It didn't go out void. It didn't go out void at all. You just put the work out. The most high is going to make sure someone going to see your video, man. At least if you get one view, it, that's that's good enough. I see it, it's been edified. One person has seen it, even if they're not of the elect. They got to hear the word, right? You understand? So always look at that, brother. I don't got that many views on my page at all. I got like maybe 18 subscribers. I don't really care about that. I care about... Did someone see it? Did I get a did I get the prophesy? Did I get the prophesy right and someone seen the video and did they see the video and did they get edified? If they are of it or if they had even been called. My video may spark something to put a seed in them. That's all that may that's all that matters to me. And I'm changing myself, I'm dropping off that old man and becoming this new man. Start going to basically going back, going staying in camp. Sorry, Salakia. I found a camp near me, GMS Tampa Bay. Um, everything's looking right right now. I'm looking at the prophecies, I'm, I'm looking at the economy, I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at everything. We are so close into the end, but our people cannot see it. Why? Because they've been blinded. They have been very blinded, and that's a part of the curses. And because since the Most High did not call them out of out of that, they are stuck, and they're gonna be as Sodom and, and as Gomorrah. They are gonna be stuck there. And Lord willing, I'm not one of those. So hopefully, this lesson was somewhat edifying to to, to certain people. Hopefully, they can look at it. And um, I would like to thank the brothers that that really gave me the inspiration in that in that video. I thank I thank them. I love uh, I love that brothers. They have very good spirits. Love very great spirits. Um, and uh, man, respect out to them, man. And uh, I want to give another double honors to the elders and uh and apostles and and great millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well. And a lot of respect to the brothers that's out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. I thank you. This is Brother Malachiah. Thank you. Shalom.